This is lesson 5, is Bitcoin a tax super haven? And in this lesson, we'll be taking a look at the tax implications of Bitcoin and the technical nature of cryptocurrencies. Let's begin. Traditionally, tax havens are defined by their geographical locations and their legal jurisdictions. And individuals and corporations who are seeking to preserve their wealth and the preservation of their wealth would seek out tax havens from protection against high tax brackets and predatory taxation. And cryptocurrencies are a very novel and unique take on a tax haven because not only are they not located geographically, they care nothing about physical boundaries, but the technical nature of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies makes them largely subversive to traditional taxation. And governments have identified the potential of Bitcoin to facilitate tax avoidance. Traditionally, anti-tax evasion mechanisms cannot successfully address Bitcoin-based tax avoidance. And this is because national political institutions and taxation initiatives have no way of levying taxation on the Bitcoin network itself. Now, the German government has recently suggested taxing Bitcoin as capital assets. Namely, taxpayers would have to report income when they dispose of Bitcoin in the same way they report income on the disposition of stocks, bonds, and other financial assets held for investment. Many other nation states first world countries are following in the footsteps of Germany and labeling Bitcoin as a sort of capital assets. And the idea is that this taxation is only relevant when exchanging Bitcoin into national currencies and as it says disposing of Bitcoin back into national currencies where one would have to pay a capital gain or a capital loss. So the taxation of Bitcoin comes into play when you're exchanging international currencies. However, the Bitcoin network itself is subversive to national taxation. However, we will argue that the Bitcoin network itself is not without taxation altogether, something we'll describe. Now, the Bitcoin network itself defines taxation differently than traditional na national politics would. With the Bitcoin network, taxation takes a voluntary approach, and that is the transaction fees of the Bitcoin network represent a voluntary pay for performance taxation. On the Bitcoin network, you are free to choose any amount to tie as a fee to your transaction. You can attach no fee or you can attach a high fee and depending on the amount of fees you attach to that transaction it will be queued by miners to be taken care of sooner or later depending on the higher or the lower transaction fee and interestingly users who wanted to get their bitcoin transaction verified by miners very quickly when faced with a threat such as a collapse of an exchange have chosen to tie high transaction fees to the movement of their money and in doing so miners were able to verify their transactions very quickly a situation where negligible or zero transaction fees on their transactions may have proved hazardous for these users so in the Bitcoin network taxation takes a voluntary pay for performance place there is taxation built into Bitcoin by default and is the transaction fees which accompany the movement of money this brings us to the conclusion of our lesson today and if you wish to do further research on the tax nature of cryptocurrencies I would highly recommend reading Omri Marion's paper entitled, Are Cryptocurrencies Super Tax Havens? 
This ends our lesson today. We'll see you in the next one.